Well, good morning, YouTube. Hatch 61 here. Out here on a beautiful day in New England. Another great day on Cape Cod. I'm out here today to share with you folks a pack that I have. This, this sling pack that I'm wearing right here. Uh, one of my viewers had sent me a message asking me what I carry in it. They wanted to know if it was a bug out bag or some sort of a uh, survival type bag. And it's actually what I would call uh, I wish I had it bag. It's a bag that I put together over the last year. Whenever I'd go out and I said, oh, I wish I would have brought that, I'll make a note of it, put it in the bag. So it's not a survival bag. It's not something I'm going to use to, uh, you know, spend the night out here, but it's something to make the day more fun. So hang on, let me find a spot to share it with you and we'll check it out. Hang on. All right. So basically here's the bag. Like I said, it's a sling bag. It goes over one shoulder. It's not a backpack that would have both straps or anything like that. Uh, loaded up, it weighs about five pounds, maybe six pounds. It's not too bad. And it's made by Maxpedition. Uh, you guys, if you've watched many of my videos, you've seen me review a few items from Maxpedition. Uh, great company, great items. Uh, and this is one of their sling bags. It's part of the VersaPack series. And this is the, the model of this one is called the Fat Boy. I try not to take offense to it, but hey, whatever. Uh, the, vast, the Fat Boy VersaPack from Maxpedition. So, like I said, it's not a bug out bag or a survival bag. This is a bag that I put together that just allows me to have more fun out here. For, the, for about a year, what I did was I carried a notepad, and uh, whenever I'd be out somewhere, I said, Oh, I wish I would have brought this. Well, I make a note of it. That's what goes in this bag. This is a bag that I bring out on day hikes, not an overnight hike or not anything like that. So, enough blathering on. Let me show you. Basically, it's got a padded shoulder strap, makes it very comfortable to carry. You know, once you get used to it, I carry this all day and I don't even realize I have it on after a while. On the strap itself, it has this nice big clip. You can use it to put your car keys on or anything you want to clip on there. I actually clipped this chair that I'm sitting in from REI. Uh, I clipped this, it goes into a little bag, stuff sack bag. And I clip that on here and that way I have a chair whenever I go somewhere. So on the outside it has a couple pouches, it has a side pouch here. As you keep, you know, a little survival blanket uh, and a little shelter, a little bivy type shelter in there. On my side, other side pouch, I carry a Leatherman. This is the big one. This is the Leatherman Super Tool 300. I carry that in here. Uh, let's see. This other small little pouch. You can put whatever you want in here, but this is the stuff that I decided I needed when I go out. A very nice flashlight from Streamlight, extremely bright. Uh, a small version of the CRKT M16 knife. You know, we always need a knife. And if not, it's great just for, to whittle and have a good time and carve into some wood. So that's basically the outside straps. On the uh, front of the pack, has this nice closure. Has a zipper pouch in the front that you can put small items in. That's where I keep my little notepad stuff. On this big front pouch, there's a pocket here. Right now I don't have anything in there. But a lot of times I'll stick my cell phone or something like that in there when I'm carrying it. Uh, there's another zipper pouch here. And this is basically, you know, you go out someplace and you're like, oh, I wish I could go fishing or whatever. Well, I have my fishing stuff in here. This is my tackle box. And this is my hand line. I've done videos on, on this before, so if you want to check these out, uh, you can go on check out the video on the hand lines. And I have a little tackle box. And like I said, it's just the basics, just so you can go out and have fun. It's got some bobbers and some lures and some hooks and different things. Most of the time when I go out and I'm going to fish out in the woods, I usually catch crickets or grasshoppers or, you know, just roll a log and grab some worms. And that's what they're going to strike most when you're out there. Natural baits, because that's what they're used to. Uh, then it has this nice big pouch here with a locking closure. And in here I keep some paracord. I keep this little pouch and again I have a video on this. This is also from Expedition. There's a video on this if you look back. This is what I call my bare minimum pouch. Like if someone was going hiking, they had nothing, I'll give them one of these and say, hey, take this with you. You know, at least you have something. And inside here, a bevy of stuff. You can stop fires, you can navigate because there's a compass, there's fire starters, there's uh, power bars, there's another Leatherman, there's another knife, uh, like I said lighters, this is tinder, 
more uh, more paracord uh, water filters so you can drink from a stream or something like that uh, great little pouch and this is like I said you go back and look at the video on this there's no reason you can't carry this when you go out in the woods you just clip it on your belt you throw it in your pocket you do whatever you know it's it's great well that's in the main pouch here I have a Nalgene bottle that I got from L.O. Bean uh, 16 ounces of water I also have a GSI aluminum uh, mug and you can cook in it as you can see it it's been on a few fires uh, you can boil water you can do whatever and if you need something to boil water in I've got again you can look back at the videos uh, this is from Emberlit this is their little pocket stove it's tiny tiny and what you do is you just put it together find any sticks and any debris around and that's what you use for fuel like I said there's videos on that too but you can take a look at it and that's pretty much it I mean it does also have on the back part here right here has this big pouch and that's if you wanted to carry you know some protection or something like that I carry mine differently so I don't use that but I what I put in here is first aid a bunch of different first aid things uh, tea and coffee and oatmeal and soups and all like little packets of freeze-dried stuff so in case you get a little hungry or thirsty out on the trail but it's a great little bag you know like I said it's not meant to go out there and you're gonna survive for you know days or weeks or whatever this is just something you take out and it's got the necessities that if you want to have a little fun while you're out here you know it takes a little of the boredom out uh, not that I ever get bored out here but some people do and this will give you entertainment so again this is the Maxpedition Fat Boy Versa Pack check it out check out all their products they're really good and uh, get out there and enjoy the great outdoors this is Hatch 61 having a good time and taking you guys along with me thanks for keeping me company bye bye now